just like have a, a heart of like a Thank you everyone. Three years and I was like, Nice. And then he shows up. Yeah. Basically, you go up I-70 from Denver. It's like two hours flat from Boulder, and you just get off on the Eastvale exit and park and just start hiking. It's it's usually like a, a boot pack trail through deep snow, and you just hike up to the amphitheater. It's like a short 20-minute hike. Then it's it's all go from there. Just flick out the ropes, rack up, get dialed, and send it. This climb particularly intrigued me because it's hard and it's beautiful. So those are like the, you know, the biggest things that draw me to ice climbing is just that, you know, it's rad and beautiful. When you give someone an ice tool, it's kind of just like giving them a sword, like there's this feeling of power and you know, you're not just like grabbing a rock with your fingers, you're like swinging this pointy thing into an ice flow, it's just super cool. Um, so then like combining that with just like super radical environments and kind of like maximizing the, what I like to say, the radicality of where you are and what you're doing. I'm feeling like this is gonna be fun and just cruiser and beautiful. It's in this like giant, you know, half cave of an amphitheater of rock. You know, it's fairly safe as far as um, hard ice climbs go. I mean, it's not super hard. It's definitely not like a water seven, but you know, it's a it's a large ice flow that you can sink deep screws into, and um, you don't have very big chance of like breaking it down as opposed to thinner pillars. So it's kind of just like the perfect storm of like fairly high difficulty for me, low risk, and it's just beautiful. I broke my shoulder and had surgery and a titanium plate put in and everything a year ago. It's getting gradually better, but sometimes I'll still like, you know, just not be able to, to nail a certain stick and have to, you know, switch hands, stick it with my right, grab with my left. I'm Scott Reed, I'm from Denver, Colorado, and I'm 24, and I'm an ice climber. You know, two years after I really knew that I wanted to start doing 
this competitively. I've just now started to train regularly and really be pursuing it hard and but still like my you know my primary passion is climbing natural ice. I just want to continue to find beautiful climbs and it's like if you're not smiling you're doing it wrong. That's a milestone. <laughs> Coming back and having a beer in my hand is, you know, is pretty central to it. I was very pumped <laughs> topping yeah. out, but feel good, feel stoked. The hardest part was honestly just managing the pump in the like water ice five, you know, full on portion and right in the middle. So I kind of went left to get to the steeper, more, uh, more vertical and like pocked chandelier kind of stuff. Cheers! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the uh, Boatswain Chocolate Stout. That, that's a winter brewski right there. <laughs>